you for watching Let's Get Political. I'm, of course, your host, Alicia Reese. Today we have State Representative Tom Keene answering a few questions with us. Representative Keene is new to the Capitol. He was just elected, so we'll be able to get a fresh perspective on the Capitol. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. Good morning, Alicia. First question, what's the highlight of your first week? Well, it's been overwhelming. It's been like feeding, uh, you know, drinking from the fire hose, basically. So, but it's exciting to get up here. This is the longest time in Florida history that a district's been unrepresented. So I'm so excited to be up here and letting the folks of House District 35 know uh, that they're represented finally in the House. Have you officially met everyone? Well, I haven't met everyone. Uh, but I have met the speaker. I've met, met the minority leader, obviously. Uh, we're making the rounds. Both sides of the aisle have been very welcoming. And so I probably met three quarters of the, of the legislature at this point. Don't ask me to remember their names. Oh, I've got a chart right here in front of me so that I, when I'm out and about, uh, I know who folks are. What's your favorite place to eat in Tallahassee? Gosh, you know, I haven't had an opportunity to really get out and about. Um, so... That's one of the, the things that I'm planning to do. Everything I've eaten so far has been fantastic. We've eaten at a couple of local restaurants. I've still got a couple, you know, a couple more months to go before I can give you an update or a, a critique on the food uh, scene up here in Tallahassee. What's your favorite place to eat when you're back home? Well, back home, and unfortunately it's not in the district, but they just opened a Skyline uh, Chili. Uh, which is, you know, one of my favorite places of all time. But I do like to eat at the local restaurants. Uh, chains are great, but I like some of the local food that, that we have in uh, House District 35. So some of the smaller restaurants, um, and th some of them are not small, but they're fairly big. But we, for example, we have Bosphorus in uh, Lake Nona Town Center, which is fantastic. We like to get there. It's, not a, it's a local chain, but it's not a national chain, and it's fantastic. How fast did everything happen, such as you got up here? How soon did you get your committees, get your aid? Sure. Was it just all sprung on you at once? It, 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 it was kind of crazy. So this is the way it works. So we had our election on Tuesday the 16th. Now, I thought it would take a couple of weeks to get seated, but as it turned out, that wasn't the case. So I woke up on Wednesday morning. I got a phone call, come to Tallahassee ASAP. I got in my car with my wife. We came up, uh, and then on Thursday, they swore me in. I was fortunate enough. My wife was able to be out on the floor with me when I was sworn in. And then that after, or that evening, rather, they gave me my committee assignments. So I voted that that same day that I was sworn in, and I had my first committee assignment on Friday. So it's been uh, nonstop since then, and I'm excited with the committee assignments that I have, and I'm here to, to go to work. That's why I'm here on Friday. I don't know if you noticed, but there are no other legislators here. Everybody else is, you know, has, has left. So I'm here because I got to catch up on some work, and then I'll be back in the district later this afternoon, and, and then I'll be back up here again on Sunday. When you're going back, are you driving or are you flying? Because I know a lot of people fly. Well, I think Orlando was driving distance, so Excellent. I'm going to be driving. I think by the time you got through security and everything else, it's just easier to drive up. Now, if you're from you know South Florida, it makes a big difference, right? But some of those folks have to fly to Atlanta or Char I mean, it's it's not like a direct flight, so they they also have to you know. At any rate. Do you have bills already set that you're putting forth? Okay, so I'm not allowed to file any bills um, because I came in mid-session. And I think that same uh, that, that's the same case for the other special election that was held in December. I'm able to co-sponsor, but I'm not able to file bills this session. I didn't attend any of the committee meetings up front either. So again, we're coming in, you know, mid mid-session. So it's, you know, that's just the way it is. Do you have a favorite bill that someone else is putting forth that you're really passionate about? Well, again, I just learned, you know, we're just getting on top of it. We're not there yet. Um, the things that I'd like to see, though, are some things for Osceola County. They're not a bill, but they're in the appropriations right now. We're trying to make sure that we get some water projects and some road projects for Osceola County that didn't make it through last session. So I'm hoping that those happen now. So those are good things. Did you already live in the district when you won? Oh, absolutely lived in the district. And I still live in the district and I will stay in the district. So I've been in, uh, in my house right now for about 10 years. So, and we're, we're in the heart of District 35. 
What are you most excited to experience this session? Well, I want to be able to represent the voters. We ran on lowering property insurance, so that would be the thing that I would be hugely uh, proud of if we could at least put a check to those high property insurance rate hikes that are happening. That would be a that would be a home run for me. I think that's a bipartisan issue and one that we could probably uh, at least get some traction on. The other issue that I want, ran on was reproductive freedom, and I don't think with the House makeup that we're going to see any movement there. It's unfortunate for, for women's reproductive rights and freedom, but it is what it is. That's why elections matter, and that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why I was elected. This November, we'll have an opportunity on the ballot to you know, make our voices heard there. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer these questions. Thank you for coming by.